Hello and welcome once again to another edition of the Robotnik is Sex C Show. I have for you tonight and tomorrow night a battle with Elite Fortina. Two battles uh, we had on Wi Fi. Uh, we had a third, but it was a bloody massacre where he brought Tryhard. It was. It was. One like, one prayer. That's all I can say. So, uh, this is um, the second match we had, actually. Because I bumped the 3DS. I was going to do the first one first, but this one is awesome, too. It, they're both really good. This, this is my Drizzle team. Uh, I recently swapped uh, Sizar for uh, <clears throat> Noivern with Specs in the Rain, Hurricane, Draco. U-turn, fire blast? No, heat wave. That's right. I believe that's the set. Um, it 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 had frisk for a long, long time, um, <laughs> but I've gotten some crazy kills with imposter ability, or not imposter. What is it? Um, infiltrator. Sorry, infiltrator. So he's got a really cool team. Uh, some nice beefy Pokemon uh, with like screens or something and a Coco. And I guess you probably know my team at this point, so let's get it started. <coughs> yeah! That's how you do it! We're gonna lead with Pelipper! He's gonna lead with who else? Tapu Koko! The best, one of the best Pokemon ever made. I've never used Tapu Koko. I'm kind of, I'm kind of proud of that a little bit. But Tapu Koko can do some cool stuff. Obviously, I'm gonna hard switch. I'm gonna hard switch. I'm go into Swampert, and he is very wisely going to go U-turn, like a professional. Uh, he's Life Orb, so that U-turn actually does a fair bit. That's a nice little chunk of damage on me. And then, he lowers my attack with Gerda. So, like, uh, you know, you know, humble beginnings. We're going to switch out Swampert. We're going to go into Noivern. He's going to Mega Up and go uh, DD, I think. Now, I have fought this Gyarados before, uh, but honestly, I have no idea what he's going to go for at all. Um... So he just DDs. Now, uh, a cool little thing about Noivern is it has decently high defenses. I think like 90-90 or like 85-85 or something. Like it's pretty good. <clears throat> or and something like that. Or it's 80-80. Uh, we're able to tank the uh, resisted Aqua Tail even though it's plus one in the rain. Which is just beautiful. So we're gonna get a nice hit off with Specs Hurricane. I'm gonna save Noivern for later for nice death fodder. Uh, and hope that Ludicolo can switch into a water move. I get critical hit. It almost kills me. So that's kind of a downer. Um, I'm not even sure if Ludicolo is faster than plus one Mega Gyarados, uh, but I was just going for it. I didn't really calculate at all. We're just clicking the buttons here. As he switches into Bugmon, a shiny, shiny, uh, Super Pex. Uh, yeah. So we get a bit of health back with that Giga Drain, and now we're just gonna show him the Z. Uh, perhaps he has not fought this team yet. Uh, so <laughs> we get the Angry Eyes. Angry Eyes of the Ludicolo has returned. And. What can I say? He's pretty pissed. We're gonna flush that bug down the toilet. Still flex until the end. What a cool guy. He's gonna send out Puss Nut. Um, I'm gonna switch out. I guess fearing Thunder Wave and go into um, yeah, Empoleon, and, and he does Thunder Wave. So, yay, that's great. Empoleon soaks Thunder Wave uh, pretty pretty well as it does tank in its nature. Uh, so he's gonna switch out uh, into his electric type. The Coco. Get up that electric surge. 
thankfully, we break through the parahex, get up stealth rocks. So that's yeah, that's that's huge. That is really really huge. Uh, so I'm think I am switching to swamp hurt. Or no no no, we're gonna go into Bulu, which is the mid play and, and pretty much a very very good play all around. As I believe he just U turns again, but I take away I t have taken away his um, terrain, so I basically have an, a uh, a bit of a, a uh, edge, a bit of an advantage, even though he has switch advantage. So he's gonna send out Superior now. Uh, this is this is. Pretty funny. Okay, so I am Choice Scarf uh, Tapu Bulu, right? So the train is up. I know this snake doesn't have high defense. I'm just gonna pop a scarf, uh, <laughs> one hammer, and it's enough for a two hit KO as he goes defog. So he essentially is punished pretty harshly for going defog, which is great. I'm so glad uh, Tapu Bulu is that broken that he can just. Defeat grass types with with a hammer and terrain. Uh, that actually makes me pretty happy, since um, my team, by and large, is pretty weak to grass types, which is why Noivern and Tapu Bulu uh, kind of help out in their own way. Of course, Noivern nuking any grass type with Hurricane. So we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go for that nice wood hammer on Heatran, who takes it pretty pretty well. But there is no reason for me to stay in at all. We're gonna swap out the Tapu Bulu, which is of course what you do. Lou. We're gonna get, we're gonna get him out, switch back into Polypper. So yeah, we got my turn up, and now we're gonna get up some rain too. And yeah, we're just gonna U-turn because there's no way this heat train is gonna be slower than me. And then I'll get switch advantage, right? So he's gonna get up the um, self rocks, and uh, the I the. the <laughs> The next series of turns are epic as fuck, I'm just gonna say. I gotta go U-turn, and the fact that I'm faster than Heatran, I shit you not. The fact that Pelipper is faster than Heatran tells me he's going Roar, so I'm going to my most useless Pokemon, which is Dedede, who's paralyzed. So, yes, he goes for the Roar, he drags out Nalani, who dies to rocks, and now I get to switch into whoever I want, so... What a fucking turn of events! Uh, the <laughs> this this battle is very entertaining. Um, however, Heatran is healed to full, but honestly, I don't give a fuck because we got Swampert here, and what answers for Swampert have you, my friend, my dear dear friend? Michael Phelps is here, and he is ready to win another gold medal by kicking your ass. We're gonna go for Earthquake. Don't even need to, uh, don't, e don't even need the, uh, rain damage. So that's great. He's gonna send out Super, which is the superior. And we got a hidden weapon known as Ice Punch! We wind up for it, and BAM! Yeah. That, that... That's a Toasteroni. So... Now Gyarados is out. Um, I'm earthquaking. It's too big of a threat. He's at half health. I'm faster than him with rain. He doesn't have a DD up like he had before, so we we outspeed him nicely. Go for the EQ, and yeah, this has devolved into a Mega Swampert sweep. But what can he do? It's what I had to do to win. And that series of events where I U-turn and then predict the roar, like holy fuck! I've never once done that in a battle before. Uh, I've been like, wait, what the, wait, what the fuck, this U-turn is way too fast, no, 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 roar, no, 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 no roars today, sir. So, yeah, I'm just gonna earthquake everything. Ground and rock are, uh, definitely some of my favorite types for sure, uh, for sure. In fact, the next battle I have with Elite Fortina, I use a team that is basically just ground and rock types with steel types, and... <laughs> yeah, just very, very much of the ground uh, is kind of the theme of the team. But in this battle, of course, we got the Drizzle! 
And yeah, he's just gonna throw the game, go for Thunder Waves and Rain Dance and stuff, because he, he knows he's lost. But Elite Fortina, definitely one of the best and most competent Wi Fi battlers I've ever faced in my life. He's beaten me badly before, and I've beaten him badly before, and it's all fun and games with Pokemon. Uh, so, uh, if you like the video, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe! Ah!